I started out by practicing as a, um, an attorney for insurance companies and employers and learned a lot about how employers and insurance companies think about injured workers and think about how to reduce their costs for workers' compensation. And um, then I had the opportunity to come to this firm, work on behalf of union members to protect their rights under workers' compensation. Uh, and the good thing was that I had this base of knowledge about how employers think about workers' comp to come and use that knowledge to the advantage of injured workers. We started talking a little bit about what kinds of injuries workers' compensation covers. And it clearly covers injuries, things like slip and falls, things like tripping on the steps, um, injuries that occur, you know, if you're breaking up an altercation with students or, you know, there's some, some kind of, you know, injury. Workers' comp clearly covers injuries. It covers injuries that happen as the result of repetitive work activities. And sometimes this comes into play, particularly when you're dealing with an old building where you're, there's a lot of stairs that you have to deal with, going up and down all the stairs all day. Um, and you realize that your knee hurts. You know, you go to school, you feel fine. By the end of the day, after going up and down the stairs five times, six times, eight times, whatever it is, your knees are killing you. And it turns out that it's because of that activity of climbing stairs that you may have created an, a repetitive work injury. What I want you to keep in mind is that things that develop over time and are related to the activities that you do, and the way I think about it is you guys are on your feet a lot. You know, you're, you're, you're moving around a lot, you're standing a lot, the, the, the environments are not, you know, they're, they're not ergonomic environments, you're not standing on nice gel pads, you know, to, to provide some, some resistance or some assistance to your joints. Um, instead, you're walking on tile floors over concrete, and um, that kind of stuff can absolutely cause a repetitive injury. And um, so what you want to be thinking about is, if, you know, is, is whether some condition that you have, you talk to the doctor about it. Could this be because I have to climb eight sets of stairs every day? A very <coughs> typical repetitive injury is carpal tunnel. It's an injury in your wrist, and it's something that happens over time. It's something that happens from typing, it can happen from writing, and it can happen from you know, any kind of activities where you're using your hands a lot. And the, usually the first symptom that people have that they have carpal tunnel syndrome is they'll wake up at night with pain in their wrist. Sometimes their fingers are numb, but it's almost always at night. And, and so it's not necessarily, folks don't necessarily connect it to their work activities. Sometimes it's the doctor. When they go, eventually go to the doctor and say, hey doctor, I'm waking up at night, my, my hand's killing me, my fingers are numb. And the doctor says, that sounds like carpal tunnel syndrome. What do you do for a living? You know, I do a lot of keyboard typing. I do a lot of writing. And the doctor can, can often say that that condition was caused by the repetitive activities that you do. Um, and it used to be, you know, like we used to see it a lot with things like bank tellers. One of the leading hand surgeons in the city told me he sees as much carpal tunnel with just writing, literally just writing. So, um, so even though, you know, these symptoms come on outside of work, it can be connected to work activities.